Hey guys, this is Steve with Lake Normal Power Sports. Just want to do a quick video on the 2016 Outlander L Hunting Edition with the Mossy Oak Camo. My contact info will be popping up right about now. Uh, and this foiler is really, really nice. So we got full skids on this one. Front bumper. This is the Outlander L body. So it's a 570 engine. Beautifully done. Tons of accessories. Gotta love that. Full skids are a must have. And this is the only Outlander L model with a standard 3,000 pound worn winch. You got the gun rack Holpen, gun boot 6.0. You got the gear grips right here for putting, you know, shovels or whatever you really want to put. And just push it in like that. Automatically adjusts. And these guys actually flex a bit for when you're putting stuff in so it doesn't damage the wipe you're putting back there. And also you got the back bumper. Freaking nice. And just like other Outlander L's, you have a little bit of storage back here. And also, of course, you have places to install the quick link system. You also have the hand guards or the wind deflectors right on this model. The Outlander LE actually has this in the front bumpers. But that's about where they are different. And mossy Oak Edition. Level of detail on the Mossy Oak. The camouflage is really, really nice. You got your winch controls there. One click on to uh, on with headlights on, high beam, low beam, start button, kill switch, power steering. You got three different modes of power steering for dirt, gravel, mud. Pop a little light on. Got yourself a little spotlight. I don't know if you can see it, but that's really nice, especially at nighttime. I'd like to fill it up. Look where you're going. You get a little handle here for moving it around. I love that. I should get the spotlight on. That thing's pretty cool too. <laughs> I love that. Love how Canam is doing like different models, like extra accessories. I wish they do more of that. Maybe in 2017 they will. Like the having the skid plates on there, you can even see from this side with the skid plates are really stiffens up the frame, makes it really worth it. This, this would pretty much be the vehicle I would have, you know, minus the gun boot. I don't really do that much hunting, but it's a nice little feature to have and just quickly installs onto the body. And you see how. It's locked in through right there. Other than that, just pops on out. And these gear grips are a must have too. Because you can put so many stuff in it. It's so versatile. Thirteen hundred pounds of towing capacity. You can install a little ball right there. TTI suspension. It hinges from the front, so uh, no butterfly effect would get with the uh, A arm system. The wheel goes straight up and down. Full wheel drive Viscolot QE Quick Engage. So let's say, for example, the front right tire up here gets stuck on a log. Sends all the power to that automatically to get you over the log. Another thing that I found interesting with this uh, Outlander L Hunting Edition, and it's only this one, it has 11 and a half inches of ground clearance. That's more than the standard Outlander L. Now, honestly, that's more. It's half an inch more 
than the regular Outlander models. Like the Outlander 1000s and all, 850s and all that. So you have a lot more ground clearance. Nice little park right there. And a very attractive price too. Sturdy metal. Air intakes all up high and all that. The battery, uh, battery's easy to get to. Nice and easy brake master cylinder tool kit, diagnostic cable, air box, uh, filter is right there. All this just pops on off. Five seventy. Have a seat on it. Oh yeah. Uh, the gauge tells you everything you need to know. You got park. Uh, it tells you your miles per hour, of course. You can do kilometers. Um, gas tank is right there. It tells me I got my high beams on. I'll turn those off. Uh, it tells you speed. You also can cycle through all the different functions: odometer, a clock, trip. Uh, total hour, engine hours, uh, pretty cool. Also, this is uh, for the power steering you hold it down. You can cycle through all your power steering functions. Right now, we're DPS medium. One more for DPS maximum. That's maximum power steering. And this is also override for reverse. So, basically, when you're in reverse, you don't have full power in reverse until you hold that button. And kind of a safety feature. DPS dynamic power steering. Uh, this got a lot of QE button, just press it once, that's four wheel drive. So we're just going to go for a quick little ride. Foot in the brake. Starts right up. Pretty simple. You can see what it looks like from my point of view sitting on it. Just a quick little ride. Gear selector is nice and smooth. Foot's on the brake, it's very nice. Power steering is a must have. Uh, if you do a lot of, like rocky terrain, because it fights to kick back uh, the rocks, you know, the, the jerk away from you once you go over it. It'll be high, and here we go. Now the uh, 570 is actually um, a little bit different than the old 500 uh, and the old L models. It's nine percent, nine percent more torqueier now. Uh, so at lower speeds for pushing like snow and stuff like that, it's a nicer little feature, especially when you're in the L mode for the lower gear. Nice and smooth takeoff, very easy going machine. Tire steering is nice and easy, all one handed. You can see I have a gun rack right there, but it's not obstructing my view though. It's out of the way. But of course, it's pretty easy to remove it. Even, it doesn't even get in the way of my foot. My foot's right here. And this just pops on out using that little leaks right there. Tons of power.
pretty simple, going pretty easy with the brand new machine. I love this thing. Very well put together, I like it. Skip plates are a must have. You can see where they leap over right there. You see how much the skip plates cover for you. Having the winch already on there, worn 3,000 pound winch, super, super awesome. Like I said, it's the only L model that actually has that standard out of the crate like that. So guys, we're actually a dealership located in North Carolina. It's Lake Norman Power Sports. You can always contact us, 704-896-6022. You can always email me, Stephen. S-T-E-V-E-N at LakeNormanPowerSports.com Thank you guys.